feel like a human whoopee cushion lately, you are not alone. This episode is for all my ladies out there who cannot understand why her belly became a balloon and it sounds like there are like little bugs in there playing the damn tuba as estrogen and progesterone start to tank, digestion literally slows down. So you're gonna have more bacterial fermentation in there. Um, that's going to add to gas and bloat. And then you've got like traffic jam city in there. Um, and then, you know, the, the transit time, you know, everything being so much slower, you know, for fermentation, more gas. So common culprits are, you know, um, raw vegetables, especially cruciferous ones. So like your broccoli, cauliflower, kale, your bok choy, um, cabbage, those kinds of things, um, beans, dairy, and then like sugar alcohols, you know, um, like sugar out, like, yes, the alcohol that's in sugar, but things like xylitol. But I remember her saying, like she put in the email, she was like, just remember if you eat too much xylitol, it'll give you the poops. So for about two weeks or so, you can keep like a little food journal, food and symptom journal, you know? So write down what you're eating and write down how you feel two to four hours after your, you know, or five hours, you know, write down how you're, how you're, how you're feeling throughout the day, how things change, um, how you're waking up in the morning feeling after you had something for dinner. But so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you permission to laugh, give you permission to fart and permission to figure it out as you go along.